Now, let me turn to the Eastern Mediterranean. Uh, this is an increasingly important, uh, I think, uh, part of the world. We passed the Eastern Mediterranean Security and Partnership Act, um, which I think uh, enhanced our relationships with critical countries in the region, Greece, Cyprus, Israel, to mention some, uh, and creating a new paradigm in the Eastern Mediterranean on both energy and security. Uh, but we, f we wake up today uh, to see uh, a statement uh, by President Erdogan of Turkey uh, with reference to Cyprus, uh, saying that peace talks on the future of ethnically divided Cyprus can take place only between two states, only between two states. Now, this is in violation of UN Security Council resolutions, of Security Council Resolution 550 that called upon members to not recognize uh, the, the government in the north that calls for Verosha to come under UN administration and that considers any attempt to resettle Verosha by other than its inhabitants to be inadmissible. And it further violates resolution, UN Resolution 789 that called for a significant reduction in foreign troops, that called for UN peacekeepers to be deployed to Verosha uh, and called for a recommitment to the peace process. Erdogan is violating all of the UN Security Council resolutions. He is in the north of Cyprus today, instigating uh, and creating a challenge to a country that is part of the European Union. Now, I will say that over pre uh, several administrations, we have been rather passive, from my view, uh, about this engagement. And all we see is Erdogan continuing to encroach encroaching in the exclusive economic zone of not only Cyprus, seeking to do so with Greece. Uh, it has uh, played, a, in my view, a nefarious role in a variety of things uh, in the region. And unless we take an assertive role and push back, we are going to find ourselves with a significant challenge. Now, uh, I'd like to hear from you, if you were to be confirmed, or what role you would take, what position you would take as it relates to these issues. Chairman Menendez, thank you for your engagement on the Eastern Med. It's made a real difference. And I have been following the breaking news from Cyprus as I entered this hearing room. And this latest announcement by the Turkish Cypriot leader and by Turkish President Erdogan about the Turkish Cypriots taking control over parts of Arosha is exactly part of the narrative you're talking about. This is a move that is clearly inconsistent with UN Security Council resolutions. I don't know if the US government has yet issued a statement about this, but I am certain this action will be condemned. And I, these actions are provocative, they are destabilizing for the region, and they are an impediment to any settlement uh, for Cyprus that would be on the basis of a bi-zonal, bi-communal federation. And if I were to be confirmed, I would want to work closely with you on this. In this particular case of Verosha, I think that we need to refer the situation to the UN Security Council. We need to encourage the international community to give a strong response to this action. We also need to work to de-escalate tensions in the Eastern Mediterranean. And I do appreciate your engagement on this. So I, I, I have your commitment that if you're confirmed, this will be one of your priorities in your portfolio. Yes, Chairman, it would. Thank you.